Hey guys and welcome to this boxing or unboxing if you will uh, video of the Blue Rose alto saxophone. So many people these days uh, seem to love boxing and unboxing videos so I thought I'd just uh, you know to, to show you guys kind of what comes with um, a Blue Rose saxophone make actually a nice unboxing video for you guys so you can really see you know the different little extras that we put um, with our saxophones and well here you can see our beautiful blue rose hard case uh, which is really really cool very very firm uh, material we, we call it as good as a scratchless because of the nice sort of um, you can see here this nice sort of, kind of rough material which really keeps the saxophone very very safe and protected and something that I really strive for with this case I am someone who um, goes to most of his gigs here in Amsterdam uh, on my bicycle and uh, so I really preferred if a sex case is really really light so I really did my best to kind of come up with the strongest yet lightest case I possibly could and this case is actually a little under two kilos just by itself which is by far the lightest case that I've ever uh, seen or, or held in my hands um, ever. So you will not soon find a lighter case than this one and it's a simplistic but very beautiful design, very nice hand clasp uh, for strong uh, sturdy uh, safety clasps and there's also two, uh, there's a set of two keys in the box so you can actually, you can see here also the little lock, you can actually lock them, all of them so you know if you want to secure your case uh, you very easily can if you're in an airport or whatever you can really uh, you know keep your instrument um, safe that way so uh, i think let's uh, let's move on and open up this baby so i can show you um, what is inside here we go that's class number one class number two three and four. I really like by the way that it has four class because there's many that have only one uh, and of course guess what happens when that one class breaks yeah you got to get a new case or, or spend lots and lots of money to get that one particular class and it's always hell so here we have four which means lots of backup clasps so if someday something might happen to one of them you still have three more of them to, to be safe so uh, this this you know this way I kind of make sure that this case will really last for a long long time and uh, so here we go let's open this up and there we have the actual blue rose alto the model that we lovingly nicknamed the lady our little sweet seductress we call her and uh, as you can see she's very snug special compartment for the neck here and it's also like as a case it really it's very very tight in here so it really can't move which is very important you know to keep your saxophone safe and dent free as you take her everywhere and play so one of the first things that of course about the saxophone jumps into view is those already much talked about pearl keys with the X's in them, we, we like to call them grippy pearls and uh, this is actually the first saxophone ever uh, that has inlaid keys so they're not painted on or anything they're actually dug out by hand, carved out by hand and then filled with another material uh, to create this beautiful uh, kind of inlaid uh, thing and what's kind of nice about it is that you also feel them a bit with your fingers so it makes the pearls a little bit more grippy which actually for most people that have tried it really like the way that it feels and for beginners it has the added benefit that the X's are on the keys where your fingers need to go for the standard finger position so you actually can never hold this saxophone wrong because you can actually feel uh, when your fingertips are in the right position which is kind of an, an extra little benefit uh, from that. Now of course this saxophone is also uh, heavily inscribed, heavily decorated which is something that I really love, it's you know a part of kind of inspiration so I'll actually show you a bit. Now the first engraving here 
uh, is the already kind of infamous uh, Venus in the horn we call it, like a little wind goddess that blows wind into this beautiful wind instrument. Uh, then we have here on the side the what we like to call the Amsterdam Venus. It's based on the Italian Botticelli Venus who of course painted the goddess of beauty, the most beautiful woman on the earth or, or in the universe I should say. And uh, this is based on that painting but with a lot of Amsterdam uh, kind of symbolism in it. Very beautiful, very big actually as you can see it covers the entire bell of the saxophone. Uh, then we have here on the other side of the saxophone, let me move it here a little bit, a beautiful inscription here that says life is a song, sing like a bird with a capital B. So for those of you who are in the know about the jazz music, you know of course who I'm talking about there. Then you can see here on the side we have the lion, which is of course the Dutch uh, national symbol of power. And I think also in the world, one of the biggest symbols of power. So I just felt that that had to be on there with roar underneath it, because that's what you need to do as a saxophone player sometime. We have here in the cloth guard also, you see those nice three X's coming back. That really nice, old school vintage style connector ring, really, really beautiful. And then we have here the Blue Rose logo again. Oh, that's upside down for you probably, but you can see that that's there beautifully inscribed. Now, another really nice thing is this little scroll here, which is the name scroll and uh, the function of that is I really encourage uh, the owners to um, inscribe uh, their name in one of the rows here on this scroll um, so that you know after a while one saxophones of course after you know several years they always will trade hands again and one of the things that I really love when I buy or when I get a new instrument is to find out you know where that instrument has been who has played it where has it traveled and uh, this is a great way especially if your instrument stays in the family or not uh, to you know really show where this instrument has been so it's a special place where you can engrave your name and uh, you know if your instrument stays in the family you know one day it will read grandpa's name and grandma before that's name and you can really see you know which which people in your family uh, played this horn before which I think is a really nice detail of course more on the practical side um, as you probably uh, already know but uh, of course this horn has all this very open vintage style key guards so it has the modern tuning mechanism the modern low note tuning screws but uh, it's incredibly open it's I think the most open saxophone that I've ever seen and uh, one thing that we find is that people who play this horn find that it plays incredibly easy in the lower register. It subs really, really easy. It opens up really, really easy. And uh, it's just a horn that really invites you to play the lower register and really work it, really use the lower register. And I love that about the saxophone because when a saxophone really invites you to play the lower register and the register feels really solid, it just adds this whole nother richness uh, uh, to your playing. So that's something that I really, really like. Now here you have the neck in its special little compartment with also the vintage octave key mechanism on here. Let me pull this out for you a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. It's you know by far the best uh, system for it I know. Very simple, very easy. If ever you bend it or anything, it's always very easy to repair it. And uh, you know, it just really, is the best way of doing an octave mechanism, if you ask me, which is why I chose to do it um, this way. Now, uh, of course, for those in the know about vintage um, kind of cases, they know already that uh, when they saw the des design here, that we have a little secret compartment underneath the saxophone here. I'm always a big fan of secret compartments. And what do we have? Here we find the Extra. So let me start with, uh, of course, the mouthpiece here. Let me take the cup off there. And let's, let me take the little lid just to, to get you off also. Um, so this is our special Blue Rose Alto mouthpiece with a nice brass ligature 
and of course a nice security cap here. Um, a, a mouthpiece really aimed at the beginners. It has enough material so that it actually can be refaced if you wanted to try that and I'll be really curious to see actually if some people try to maybe reface it and enlarge the tip opening and uh, you know see what kind of results they have with it so i heartily invite you uh, to try but it is of course uh, uh, you know kind of a standard mouthpiece uh, that works very well for the beginners for the first few months and then probably you want to move on to something with a little bit of a bigger tip opening but ideal to start on very small tip opening so it's very easy um, to play so that's the mouthpiece then we have of course here the neck cord a very soft uh, material with uh, I personally like a really nice simple hook simple hook mechanism no moving parts is very simple but very sturdy because uh, usually the moving parts are the first things that break down so it's just a very sturdy good quality neck cord something you can use for many many years and uh, you know it's a very nice soft material for your neck so that just really really uh, works it, it is on the simple side but you know again I really like simple and if you want something more elaborate like really a leather piece or something of course you can always you know switch to something um, you know more advanced then we have of course um, some cork crease and a nice starter reed it's about a one half uh, 1.5 strength reed so also really a soft reed for the beginners to be able to play on very easily then we have a nice supply of cork grease you know apply before you first slide on the mouthpiece so it slides really easily and you keep your cork in good condition there we have the set of keys two keys a main and a spare so you can lock um, your case and we have here the very nice soft polished cloth that uh, hopefully you will use to keep the saxophone in mint condition over the years so let me put this back together real quick and put it back in here for the actual boxing part of the saxophone now for a real boxing of course we'll you know secure all the keys and make sure that everything is tight and we have these really nice anti dust bags and everything that they go in to make sure that they go really well through the transportation all over the world but you know just so you have a nice idea of what's in the box also they all come with a personal warranty card and a personal letter because we make a lot of connections with the people that uh, you know are the blue rose players each horn is really set to the specifics of the player that buys them so it's in many ways kind of a little bit customized for each player and uh, you know we we kind of uh, put a personal letter with that really explaining what we did and how we set up the horn to be you know hopefully as perfect as possible um, for you so uh, yeah i hope that gave you a bit of an idea of all the beautiful things that come with the blue rose you know my idea is to really have a nice set that is complete so that when you get this at home you have everything you need to just start playing uh, right away and uh, yeah that's it so I really hope that you like this video and this little glimpse of the blue rose lady alto and uh, I'll see you hopefully again in a next video here on the blue rose saxophone channel be sure to subscribe and uh, see you in the next video